family. Oh, yeah. I mean, th this is huge. We're going to go back to it right now. And the first thing we want to do is kind of recap and take a look at what's ahead. Now, now Lieutenant uh, Governor Cruz Bustamante is expected to actually set the date for the actual election today. Now, the Secretary of State's office says the ballot will have actually two parts to it. One of it, the actual recall itself. The second part of it is going to be Davis's possible replacements. But Bustamante is throwing that second part now into question. And some say that he is leaving the door wide open to step into the governor's office himself. Political analyst Peter Matthews joins us now to talk about some of these things. And, of course, Peter and, and viewers, the, everybody's focused now on the Lieutenant Governor Cruz Bustamante, who happens to be a Democrat. And can he legally do this? Can he legally come out with a, with a ballot with, that has no names on it like this? Or is there a provision that would prevent him from doing that? I know there's going to be some sort of a legal challenge, I'm sure. Absolutely. In fact, the Constitution says that he can uh, put other names on the ballot if he thinks it's appropriate. So legally, he can do that, and it will be challenged in court if he does that, though. So, because so the it's little new territory right now. The little hitch is if it's appropriate, right? That's right. If it's and appropriate. I understand that that was put in there. Should they recall a judge or something like that, then you wouldn't put other names on a ballot. That's true. It's supposed to apply to judges mainly, but he's stretching it a bit. And if he does that, he'll become governor uh, at least temporarily. If if Davis is recalled, he'll become governor directly himself. But I thought Which there was language in there that said the 60 to 90 days you have to have that election, and part of that election with the petition signing was having those names on there. Well, the, like I said, the Constitution is, uh, says if appropriate, so it doesn't have to have the other names on there, and if it is not put on there by Bustamante, I'm sure it'll be challenged in court by the Republicans and by the ISA people who are sponsoring the recall. So yeah. it'll be very interesting. It's new territory completely that we're charting right now. So it'll be very interesting to see how things go as we go along here. That, that is it's never been done. That, it's the first that, time in 92 years it's ever happened before. Yeah. First time ever. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yep. If appropriate is the key, that, that little phrase there, if appropriate. Um, yeah. Even if Cruz Bustamante becomes governor, he's only governor for a couple of months until they have another election another and election, decide right. uh -huh. who's going to be governor. The only other option would have been for Governor Davis to have resigned prior to the Secretary of State announcing the official tally, that's point, then Cruz could have become, but if he resigns now, yeah. No, now, no. now uh, if Cruz Bustamante becomes governor, it'll just be for a few months probably, and that'll also put things off in terms of the budget crisis. It's going to affect everything. I mean, the state of California is having a major problem with the budget, and this uh, really wouldn't help a whole lot to uh, focus, take the focus away from the budget onto this recall effort, but it's going to happen because people already, I think a lot of people are really uh, upset at what was going on. And there are two sides to the issue always, you know, so we'll have to see what happens. How, first do you, line, how soon do you think that first legal challenge is going to come about? I think it'll come about immediately because uh, the folks that are behind the recall have lots of money, and that's really what put the ballot, the recall on the ballot in the first place. So they'll go to court immediately, and the judges will decide right away also you know, so that we wouldn't be delaying all of this. Because California has to get its, its, the whole process settled so the budget can be settled. It's a pretty, pretty critical situation right now. Okay. All right. Regarding Thanks very that. much, Peter. It's My a pleasure. story that uh, <laughs> we're going to be talking about all yeah. morning and all week and right up until <laughs> they have that election. Later, uh, Peter's going to rejoin us. He's going to talk more about the governor's chances of uh, finding the recall. He'll also talk about some of the potential contenders who could fight for his job. That's coming up at 6 o'clock. Lots of layers to this story, and we're yep. sort of peeling them away one by one. All right, still to come here on Today in L.A., we're going to go live out to Wall Street for a first look at your money. And could it be true, an ice cream cone having the same effect on your waistline as a rack of ribs? What one group is saying. And as we take a